Good morning and welcome to this service of prayer during the day from St Mark's Church in Teddington. Today, the 9th of August, is the first day that we're meeting for services in the church at 10 o'clock. But we're going to continue with these recorded services of prayer during the day because we realise that not everybody is able to or comfortable with coming back to church at this stage. We're also having a midweek service on Wednesdays at 10 o'clock, which will be uh, the Book of Common Prayer. So two services a week, Sundays and Wednesdays at 10, but also this online service of prayer during the day. So let us pray. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. And as always, we start our service with praise, and these are words that are adapted from Alexander Carmichael's Carmina Galicia, I think. I am giving you worship with all my life. I am giving you obedience with all of my power. I am giving you praise with all of my strength. I am giving you honour with all of my speech. I'm giving you love with all of my heart. I'm giving you affection with all of my sense. I'm giving you my being with all of my mind. I'm giving you my soul, O most high and holy God. Praise to the Father, praise to the Son, praise to the Spirit, the three in one. So our first piece of scripture is Psalm 85. Let me hear what the Lord, the God, will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him. And, we may, and will make a path for his steps. Our gospel follows on from the feeding of the 5,000 and Jesus is tired. He's been with people a lot um, and he needs to retire. And then the famous episode of walking on water. So perhaps as I read this, perhaps to think about rest, the cult of busy and how easy it is for us to be busy, 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 always doing and never recharging, never stopping, finding it hard to be still and pray. The other thing as I read this is if you're comfortable with it, go in your imagination. Let the words take you to being on the boat with the disciples or on the shore, wherever you feel your viewpoint is. And listen to the words and in the silence that follows. Where is God speaking in the storm of your heart, in your life today. So these words are taken from Matthew chapter 14. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. 
But by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. They said, it's a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come out to you on the water. He said, come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and he began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So we'll just take a few moments to let the emotions and the thoughts that that passage has raised settle with us. Let us pray. We pray this morning for all the churches that are returning to public worship. For those who've done it a few times, for those for whom it's their first, for those who are still planning. We pray for congregations who will be seeing worship in a different way. And we pray that our love for you will bring us together in a positive and prayerful manner. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the light of the terrible events in the Lebanon this week, we pray for all of those caught up in the dreadful explosion. We pray for the families of those who were killed and injured. We pray for those who were hurt. We pray for those made homeless. And we pray for all of the organisations in Lebanon and beyond who are going in to help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Reflecting on the reading, we pray for all of those who are on holidays or taking a slower time through the summer to recharge after all the challenges of the lockdown season. We pray for the courage to stop. We pray that as everything changes, we have the courage and the vulnerability to be still and pray. Lord, save us from being busy to avoid what needs to be thought of and done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are caught up in the storms of life. 
whether that's through employment, knowing that there's so many people are being made redundant at the moment, whether that's through sickness, whether that's in depression and mental illness. We pray for all of those caught in the storm. We pray for those who watch and wait with them. We pray, pray for the professionals and the friends and the families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we bring our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. So please join with me in whichever version or language that you are most comfortable. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our blessing today is still from John O'Donoghue, because it's one of my favourites, and it speaks so well into the uncertainty the changes that have been brought about by our lockdown, the new things that we've noticed, those things that we're working through. May all that is unforgiven in you be released. May your fears yield their deepest tranquillities. May all that is unlived in you blossom into a future future graced with love and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore. Amen. So have a good week. God bless. <laughs>